The men were executed as war criminals, but they were also opposition leaders. Salahuddin Kader Chowdhury was a senior member of the Bangladesh Nationalist Party, or BNP. A war crimes tribunal found him guilty of genocide, religious persecution, abduction and torture in the 1971 War of Independence. Ali Hassan Mohammed Mujahid was number two in the Jamaat-e-Islami party. He was convicted of torture and murder during the same conflict. Bangladesh's government says Pakistani soldiers killed three million people in the war, helped by local accomplices like Mujahid and Chowdhury. Human rights groups say bringing war criminals to justice is important, but these trials were flawed. Bangladesh has been cutting corners. Uh, you know, if the evidence is there, and many people believe it may be, uh, go through a full, free, fair trial and, and ensure that historically these are recognized as being prosecutions of the highest standard. Unfortunately, we're not seeing that from the ICT tribunal, and uh, these two cases are added to a litany of others that uh, seem to have serious procedural problems in, in the prosecution of the cases. The War Crimes Tribunal was set up in 2009 to investigate and charge those involved in killing civilians. Since it began delivering verdicts three years ago, there have been rallies in support and violent protests against the court decisions. 18 people have been convicted. Most of them are members of opposition groups. The BNP and Jamaat opposition parties say the executions of Chowdhury and Mujahid are politically motivated. Caroline Malone, Al Jazeera.